Welcome to Dependable Flame, where we explore vintage petrol lighters, ashtrays, tobacchiana, and other useful mechanisms. Make yourself at home. Today we are going to talk about clutch springs and orienting them in a mechanism. We have a few different varieties here and I'm not going to claim that these are exhaustive but they are what I have to show you today and so that's what we're going to go with. I got a question from AK earlier in the week asking can you do a similar video this was on the video that I had done on how to line up the gears in a Ronson automatic lighter mechanism and they asked can you do a similar video for different clutch springs I took apart my Ronson lighter to clean and didn't make note which way the clutch spring goes against the file wheel so that is exactly what we will cover today and I appreciate the question AK you will run into some mechanisms that have the gears fixed into the snuffer. Don't let that confuse you or trouble you. It's all still the same. The main thing you're going to want to do with this clutch spring is keep the cutout to the back and the longer arm to the front. I have seen some where the entire mechanism where the clutch spring was on the left but that was a whole other thing. It would be the same thing. You just want to make sure whichever side it's on that the wheel is engaging with the clutch when it moves forward. It's okay for it to spin backward but when it goes forward it needs to engage so here you have the clutch built into the side and then the spring fits on top of that pretty simple there you can see how that will slip backward going the one way but engage is going forward that's what you want it to do. If you enjoy watching videos about repairing old petrol lighters, ashtrays, tobacchiana, and other useful mechanisms, please subscribe to the channel. Please like the video you're watching. Tell your friends about the channel. Hit that share button send the link off in a text email post it on social media however it is that you communicate with folks nowadays and let them get a look at it for themselves you can also leave any comments or questions below the video we would appreciate it if you would follow and like dependable flame and dependableflame.com across all the social media platforms that'll be Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, and of course eBay. You can see here where we have one where the gears come off and fit into the side. The same principles are at play with the clutch spring. You're still orienting it so that it will engage when moving forward. You're going to orient it this way first of all because it is going to engage going forward but then also you have the long side of the clutch spring this front arm of the clutch spring that is going to engage with your snuffer assembly. Then we move to an assembly that looks quite a bit different but really isn't. It has a different looking clutch mounted on the side of the wheel. 
but it is engaged by a clutch spring that is integrated into the cap. You can see this metal piece here. That is your clutch spring. So when this is in there, that engages with that clutch the same way that these clutch springs do in that system. I'm sure there are other variations. Many times with these type here, they just stay in there. They don't, that one slid out pretty easy, but most of them seem to be kind of fixed in place. So there are at least two different kinds of clutch springs and how you would orient them into a mechanism. These are all Ronson automatic types, a Ronson Sport, a whirlwind and then a state series firefly lighter all automatic petrol lighters Ronson clone type mechanisms if not outright Ronson's in the case of the first two make sure that you get over to eBay and check out the dependableflame.com store every purchase that you make over there will benefit HDSA Huntington's Disease Society of America with at least 10% of each purchase going to the charity we also run three penny start auctions each month where 100% of the proceeds of those three listings go to HDSA as well I provide free shipping High Bidder gets the lighter, pays the money, which all goes to the charity, and everyone is happy. So I hope this video is helpful. A lot of it just seems self-explanatory to me, but people ask, so I try to make the videos that people ask for. You can keep an eye out for this Mackinac Island, Michigan lighter soon as uh, when I get that put back together and working right then of course we'll have a video on it these others are really just junk sitting around now for spare parts because of they're broken in one way or another and irreparable Be sure that you follow us on eBay so you get the notifications when each new listing comes up. Also, make sure that you hit the bell here on the YouTube channel so that you are notified when we publish each new video rather than just searching around out there in the dark waiting for somebody else to bring it to you just go ahead and make that decision let it be coming to your notifications there each time I publish one until next time